Before we start, it is important to say that you're not getting paid for this interview. Correct. But I do. <laughs> so, you ready? Yes. I want to say that I did not research Harry when I met him. What? No. If I did, I would have never married him. You know, to me, he was just a normal ginger head with a British accent. Actually... In the beginning, I thought he was Australian. What? And he didn't look like a prince to me, because the only prince I knew back then was the Prince of Bel Air. What? You know, I think I am the only woman ever who didn't know she was kissing a prince that then turned into a frog. So literally everything was just the other way around. And always remember, I saved the prince from his tower. What? But... You know who Lady Di is. Well, I know it's his mom and everybody says I'm stealing her style, which hurts me. But truly, I never Googled her either. I mean, the institution took away my phone and everything. So it seems to me I live my life like a candle in the wind. What? They took away everything. They even wanted me to talk in a British accent. And I was like, who do you think I am? An actress? What? Maybe they should have Googled me. What? But do you use Google now? Well, sometimes I do, but I only use Google Maps. What? Yes, because you know, it helps me avoiding tunnels. What? But I am so glad Harry has the spirit of his mom, and he is incredibly upset that Prince Charles doesn't answer the phone. What? And I keep on telling him, Harry, why should he? He is not your dad. What? Yes. So we focus on our family now, and we can't wait for our little baby girl to arrive. Oh, congratulations! Thank you. Do you have a name already? Yes, we will call her Tect. What? Yes, Tect. So when we call them both, it's Architect. That way we teach them that they will actually have to work one day. What? I mean, how else can you explain these things to a little child? Okay, so, how was it when you met the Queen for the first time? Um, well, I was so nervous. And I remember I practiced the curtsy with Harry in the car. But then it was just so not necessary because you were immediately so nice to me. But I thought you were taller. What? And I'm so glad we are friends and neighbors. But I don't understand why I'm sitting here. Instead of me, you should interview Prince Andrew. And instead of you, Oprah, it should be the police. What? 